Hey, what's going on guys? Z here and uh, today um, I got a little bit of a treat so um, I ordered some new storage boxes for my comics and it has finally arrived so I'm gonna be opening that up and um, I'm gonna be going through the rest of my Thor comics that I have laid out here and I'll be putting them inside uh, of the box um, that I got. So there's two storage boxes I was storing them in these. In this container, it's not good because if you can see uh, right in here, it has like this dip. It like dips in. And if you're storing your comics there, you're going to have some comics that are like right here um, in the dip. And then they're going to kind of be over it. And yeah, it's just not good. It's also a little too wide. Um, so uh, if the comics... Um, are, it, it's just not a good way to store it. <laughs> Definitely not a good way to store it. So the, the new ones that I got, they're, they're cubed and perfectly made for comics. So, one sec here. And I made some headway on my, uh, what is that game called? Alchemist Code. I got some, uh, some boards done there, so. Alright, let me, uh, have my seat. I'm going to try to do this with uh, one hand. Let's see. Got to use a foot for it too. Alright, yes. There's one and there's two. So the, um, <clears throat> the company, so I got them off of Amazon. And I'll, uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description. I'm not good with that stuff, but I'll try. Um, but the, the company I got it from, I tried to order two at once, and it kicked them right out of the cart. And then um, it, it only lets you buy one. So I just I purchased one, and then went in and made another order for the second one, and it worked. So, um, so yeah, I got sucked open. Yes, nice. Oh, that's nice. So it's made of like some kind of like special material as well. So it um it like locks out moisture. I think there's like some kind of waterproofing to it. Um, so it's like a really good way to store the comics. So let me see here. Oh yeah, and it has um what the heck is these? Oh yeah, tabs. So you can. Uh, section them off and and you can write in there uh, which comics uh, is for what section so that's pretty cool where's my focus at Then I'm sure this is the base here. So, throw the base in the bottom, it kicks out, boom, perfect size for comic books. And we got some gift card type stuff, so sweet. And then these are the uh, the tabs here. You can write on that and um, put what comics is what and tab them off. So, excellent. I got two of those. Put that there. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get both of these boxes set up. And then I will uh, set the camera up and I'll go through the Thors. I'll show you, I'm pretty, I'll show you all these. Every uh, Thor that I have out here right now, um, I'll show you the cover and go over them. And I'll be putting them uh, into these new boxes. So I'll catch you guys in a second. got the camera set up uh, so I was kind of wondering how I'm gonna organize these 
and I think I will do my best to put them in order from like oldest uh, to newest but there's some of them I actually don't know when they were made but I have a pretty decent guess of like the order um, of them so starting with my oldest comics I have some journey into mystery now this is really old these um the three journey into mysteries i have they're in terrible condition um, like you see the line there there's a lot of like edge damage i'm trying to focus in on that there we go yeah. you can kind of see that edge damage there so it's in um it's in pretty bad shape but you know i got it just because of its age and how old it is so um this is one and that's number uh, 116 of may then i have 117 of june and all of them are kind of like in the same condition a lot of edge wear um wear right here where the staple goes um so but hey they're part of my collection and and i like them so and then I have uh, issue 123 from December. So these three will go in first in order. So I'll do them like this here. I'm not gonna put them in yet. I'm gonna uh, get a stack going and then I'm gonna put the stack in. And you can actually, um, support like each kind of like row that you're doing so uh, that helps I don't have to have the stack super big so that's cool um, next <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing my one shots things I only have like one of uh, no series and things like that so the first one is this uh, this is a paradise special and it's called Ragnarok so it's by Marvel, it's not titled Thor. Uh, it's a very strange book. I actually just kind of glimpsed at it today. And um, <laughs> it's a little weird. I'm not too sure about it. So, but that, this is part one. And then this is part two. So it's only a two part series. Um, it is the Thor from Marvel, but it's, uh, it's definitely different. So I'm gonna put these in next then, I have an annual so this annual is 1984 versus Odin's other son they don't even name him but that looks like Balder though so we will have that one going next <clears throat> And most of these comics, especially the older ones, I have not read. <laughs> um, I usually get my, so current Thors I read, any current comic, like I will read it and then seal it and, and put it away, but like some of the older ones, I, I read them in like the collection books that you can buy. And I just keep them sealed, so most of these I haven't unsealed them. So then uh, this one is 100 page monster. So this is number 33. Oh, it has Jurgens. He, he was on this one, nice. I'm trying to see the date on it. <clears throat> I don't know how old this one is, but, um, but yeah, this one is, is pretty dope here. So this will go next. Looks like it has like compilations in it or something. Number 33, which I think that actually goes along with this one. Yeah, because this is this is 32, the Mighty Thor. This one is 33, so I guess these aren't one shots. Yeah, it's still Jurgen. Looks like some different artists, but um, yeah. So this one, who is Thor Girl? So before the Jane Foster Thor, there was um, a Thor Girl, obviously. So and um, I actually have even the next one which is 34 I didn't even know these uh, these ones were going together this guy I keep forgetting his god dang name he's a um, he's a Shi'ar 
that's like what race or empire he's from. And I almost want to, I almost want to call him Sentry. I know, and not like the Sentry that you think of, um, you know, yellow and, and black. But um, I can't remember his name. But he's also in the Thanos comic, and um, the comic where Thanos is weak and dying, and this guy comes and punches him one time and, and takes him right out. This, this dude, this guy is really, really strong. I just forget his name. God, I want to remember it so badly. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look it up. I actually have um, what is it? This Thanos book here. I probably can find his name real quick because he's uh, he happens pretty early. Let's see, there's Corvus. You see, I, I gotta find this name. You know how it is when you kind of remember something and then you forget. Yeah, it's kind of like that. This, this that's him right there gladiator that's his name gladiator yeah he's really strong all right that was a little detour but i had to, i had to get that name that would haunt me forever <clears throat> all right then i have uh the annual 2001 that's the only one i have of that God, this video is gonna be long. I might split this up into two parts because we got a lot of comics to cover. Um, well, actually, it'd be like three parts because I kind of did a little, little show in my first video. Um, but then this one here, whosoever wields this hammer, is just titled Thor, and I don't see like any numbers on it. So we'll put that one in. And then Thor, Crown of Fools. He's uh, kind of based off of the Chris, uh, Chris Hinesworth. So this this was one of kind of one of the first comics I bought. Just about. Um, so that kind of tells you what uh, what time frame I started getting into. But I don't know what date this is from. But I know it's like 2012 or something like that. So this has been a while. Like that and then my last one shot is the Astonishing Thor. So, we got a pretty decent stack going right now. We're gonna go ahead and put those in, the, in here. Yeah, this thing fits so perfect. And then we'll secure them like that, that way they don't move and they are good for now. Then we'll go on to the next pile. Which, as far as age, close yeah we'll do that so <clears throat> um, here I have this is Thor a uh, Lord of Earth so I've I've read this entire series I actually have the the, the collection the books it's uh, one, two, three, four, five books I have those on display if you look at my uh, other videos when I'm sitting in my chair you can see them behind me it's five books there but um, I actually got the comic too, so this is part one. This is where you have King Thor, um, not Rune King Thor, not Phoenix King Thor, but uh, just Thor, uh, King Thor. And he is very powerful. He ends up destroying uh, pretty much everyone. Hulk, Wolverine, Captain America, every hero you can think of, or uh, Thor takes them out. So this is uh, part two. three nice I'm kind of uh, surprising myself too because I didn't know I had um, these in order like that so. nice so part four I think this is this is Thor's son this is Magni so he has a son in this one wow part five let's go These are the goats Tooth Gasher and Tooth Nasher. Something like that. I think I got it right. I think in the, um, and then this is part six. I think in the, um, 
what you call it, the Norse mythology, he can kill those goats and eat them. And then as long as he doesn't eat their bones, he can uh, do a ritual to resurrect them. I don't know if that's in the comics too, but I know like in the mythology it is. Oh, this is not part of that. This is something else. Okay. So that's all of the Thor Lord of Earth. One. So I got parts one through six. I don't know if it's a seventh. I haven't looked it up, but um, I'll probably have to do that. So <clears throat> there's those. This one's part of that pile over there. I think I'll grab that. Okay, so I have the Mighty Thor. Let's see what type of border I got here. Oh boy, I got these mugs jump around. So uh, we got Shattered Heroes. That's uh, that's part. That's eight. Issue eight. This is issue nine. And this is ten. I can't remember what happens in this story. Um, yeah, I'm drawing. I'm drawing a massive blank. So unfortunately, I can't tell you much about this this uh, series here and then this is issue 11 so I had uh, 8 through 11 then I'm missing quite uh, quite a bit and then it looks like I have issue 15 of the Mighty Thor so it looks like the Shattered Heroes title uh, ended at some point and then you get into this and then issue 17 as well so no 16 so I got so it skips skips around quite a bit but you know, that's what it is what collections you end up seeing what you what you miss what you need to get and you just get them so we got another little decent stack I'm gonna go ahead and add it to, to our box here Man, that thing is so nice. Man, that fits so perfect. All right, now we got Thor the Mighty Avenger. And, uh, let's see what kind of order I got. So this is an eight part series, it looks like. I have starting out at issue two. So that's unfortunate. I'm already failing. Issue three. And I like the I like the art style on this one. That's pretty dope. I've read I've read a, a bit of this, but I can't remember the story for the life of me. I've read so many, and I'd be forgetting them, so you have to forgive me. Um, this is issue. What is this four? This is four Volt Stag giving him a big old hug. So that's uh that's Namor there. If you don't know about Namor, he's actually uh quite powerful. Quite quite powerful. What was that issue four? No, that was issue five. So it looks like I'm missing issue six as well. So this is seven. I was getting pinned up by a group of robots there. And then I have issues eight of eight. So there's Tony, St Tony Stark getting the uh, getting the old Mjolnir treatment. So I'm missing what one and six. So that's not terrible. I'm missing two, two of eight. Not too bad there. Um, so those will go in 
next and then I have Let me get them in order as best I can first. Okay. So this is just titled Thor. And this is issue one here. And I don't, so I gotta be, so some of these are variant. I'll tell you which ones are variants. Uh, I know if, uh, quite a bit of them are. But that's issue one. This is issue two. So these were released in uh, right around like 2007. That's issue two. And they're all out of order, so let's see how I'm doing this. Issue 3 is a variant arc, so this isn't the original R4. Four is another uh, variant edition. That one's dope. I'm going to set this one to the side because I know there's another one that, uh, that goes with it that looks kind of cool. Well, it looks cool, not kind of cool. It looks cool. Issue five, this is gonna be normal. So I'll just put that on here. And then it's uh, issue six is the one that kind of lines up art style with uh, issue four. So it's another variant. And I don't know if you can see the green hue to it, but just like this one, like it's, it's very similar. It's kind of hard to tell on camera it looks like but they're they're very similar as they have like this green hue to them and the uh, artwork just is kind of very very similar so it's really cool there so that's that one six seven have seven the original here is eight And once again, this story, I am not certain what uh, what happens in it. So, unfortunately, I can't <laughs> even much of that. You, probably, you guys probably don't think I'm not a real Thor fan. Like, you don't know what any of those comics are. But like I said, I, I typically read them out of collections. So, and I don't focus on like what issues are in the collections. So, I don't know like if I've read these before or not. This is issue 10, so I think I skipped one. I think I don't have nine. Here is 11. It's really phenomenal hard work on there. And then I have 12. So there it looks like you got uh, Thor, Balder, and Loki in the background. Yeah. Got a pretty good stack, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these up. Man, these, this box is amazing, as I'm trying to tell you. That box is everything. All right, these are the ones I showed on my first video. I was kind of uh, just uh, re, re uh, bagging and boarding them. But this is Thor 600. You see, I finally sealed them off. They're all sealed and they are good to go. 602. 603. And after uh, this pile here, I'm going to uh, end this video and then I'll continue on another video because this is getting quite long. So. This is 604. Six oh five. Dr. B. 
doing? 606. So this is like the sea story. So this, um, there's, so there's some scenarios where Thor's fighting Dr. Doom. He fights um, like Doom bots. Obviously Dr. Doom's never there. Um, and then there's also uh, the destroyer armor as you saw in this one. He does end up facing, I'm pretty sure it's a Doom uh, in the destroyer armor. So he ends up fighting that and defeating it. This is 607. Then there's like an, an imposter Thor who's like mechanical or something. I can't remember how you came about. Um, so yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> but this is 608. So this is the epilogue, so this is the ending of it. You see the two Thors there. I have uh, 6, 12, so I think I skipped one. Yeah, because that's 10. So I don't have 11, but I have 6, 12, and I have 6, 14. So those are all that I have for those. Go ahead and add them to the box. Perfect. Man, that is amazing. So good. And then it catches it. That's awesome. So I'm going to end right there. Um, I do still have quite a bit of Thors. So uh, as you see, that's the War of the Realms, kind of Thor related. Um, there's a stack over there next to the games. Um, and then a few more stacks there. So um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'll make another video showcasing those ones and then I'll post it.